And I think this is fantastic news and it should be celebrated. And my friend Will Travers, who you're going to hear from later, talks about the importance of celebrating the good things, the wins. And this is one. But make no mistake, this is a government who pledged in their 2010 manifesto to impose a total ban and didn't. And they followed up with another pledge in the manifesto of 2015, uh, promising to, to impose a total ban and didn't. So here we are in 2017, and now we've gone into a consultation period, which is fantastic. But the reason this is so important now, despite the fact that they've talked about going on with this period of consultation, with a view to a ban, is that we now have to see that through. It's up to every single one of us to see that through. And so where we stood here today, making this incredible impact on, on everyone around, taking notice, the, the exposure we're giving to this, the, the awareness we're raising is fantastic. So thank you all so much. Let's keep the focus. The silent protest is going to start in about five or ten minutes. We're just getting everyone aligned so it looks fantastically cinematic. And it's going to be starting very soon. So stand by and thank you so much. It will start very, very soon. every half hour, every day, unless we do something about it. That was really emotional, what just happened. I don't know if you felt how powerful that was and how powerful it is, all these people passing by. I don't know how many photos have been taken by people from how many countries. This could be global already. And that's so important. So well done, everybody. And if you're here and you've just been taking photos, please share them on social media and get this out everywhere. I want to share a, really, uh, a couple of other emotional experiences I had not long ago. I had the great privilege of being in Africa last year, in Kenya. And I met an elephant and a rhino. And both of these experiences were so powerful and emotional and spiritually poignant to me. They were incredible. It was like nothing I've ever experienced. An elephant came by our vehicle. And I had about £6,000 worth of camera gear on me and I just put it down because I had to just feel this experience with this unbelievable being that was in my presence just standing silently. I was reminded of it when we were standing silently. It just stood silently. It wanted nothing. It asked nothing. And it stood with us for about five or ten minutes. It felt like a lifetime. And then it just walked away. And I spent the next 15 minutes sobbing like a child. And a couple of days after that, I had the unbelievable privilege of meeting Sudan, who some of you will know is the last male northern white rhino on earth. He's one of three. He, his daughter and granddaughter are the only three remaining rhino of this particular species. And I walked around the corner into this pen that he's kept in. Uh, he has access to a wide range, but he was in the pen at the time and I had no idea I'd get such close proximity. I was actually able to sit with him and hold him. And again, I spent 15 or 20 minutes sobbing. And that kind of experience leaves you in no doubt whatsoever that these creatures are absolutely incredible and they deserve a chance at life. And If, 
if you didn't already know it, anybody didn't already know it, that kind of encounter makes you realize that every single life matters. Every life matters. And unfortunately, not everybody has that privilege, that opportunity to meet these incredible creatures face to face. And even worse, some people who do have that opportunity have bad intentions when they do. They're not there to have a spiritually uplifting experience. They're there for profit, greed, slaughter, exploitation, and all the things that we abhor and are here to stand against. So somebody has to take responsibility and be their custodians, be their guardians, their defenders, be their voice. And that's what all of us are here, even in our silence, with their voice. And that was a beautiful thing to see and to not hear. And you know, you have to have faith and hope. And I talk about this so much because it's quite apart from the fact that we create our reality with our mindset, and that's a whole different speech, but it's true. You have to maintain the hope, the belief, the faith that we can change things. Because there are people here today, and you're going to hear from them in a moment, who, for example, literally put their life on the line on our behalf to save elephants. You're going to hear from my friend in a moment who does just that. There are people here who dedicate their heart, their soul, their life savings somewhere here. You're going to hear from all these people to create a film that spreads our message, that spreads the word. You're going to meet people who dedicate their lives, literally, to the cause and many causes. You're going to hear from that guy right very, very soon. And there's also people here who, who use their, their legal and, and their political knowledge and expertise to legislate, to lobby, to change laws, all, in, all for the benefit of animals. And then there's those people who bring all of us together, all the people I've just described and all of you. And with that, I mean, I'm just echoing what's already been said, but to Maria, Denise, Joanne and Audrey and everyone, the whole team behind Action for Elephants, thank you so much for bringing us together today. I think you guys would agree, but this has been something different. I know the guys wanted to create something other than just the marches that we've done in the past. This was powerful and poignant and incredible, so thank you. Um, and then, of course, there's those people who show up every single time. Like every single one of you guys here. And it makes me want to cry happy tears because you are always here at these things. You, I, it was so beautiful to just be stood there knowing that all of you were behind me, standing silently for a an animal you'll never meet, you'll never get a thank you from. It's just pure love and compassion, and that is what it's all about. So thank every single one of you guys. Because, you know, together we can achieve great things. We can win this. We're seeing that happen right now. That's what Parliament, what government announced yesterday. That's a step in the right direction. That's a win for us. And there's so many wins to talk about. We've got to focus on those and stay, stay positive about these things because we can do this. And if you imagine what we're each able to do individually, imagine what we can achieve collectively. It's absolutely immeasurable.